Big, 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 big game in the Europe. It's the Champions League final, the biggest club competition in the world. A supercharged night right from the moment the teams walk out onto the pitch to that theme tune. Da, da, na, 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 Champions League final to the end the final whistle where the team stop what they're doing right there and then and then walk up the stairs to hold some giant cup unless there's penalties in which there's no final whistles you do not get a final whistle after penalties ian five uncles is there right now soaking up that atmosphere like a giant pundit sponge a sponge it Hi, Ian. That's DuckTales, Anthony. Ian, it's very difficult to care about the Champions League final as there's no teams from England. Can you just fill us in as to who these guys are? Yes, Anthony, it's hard to believe that there are leagues outside of England. Scotland toyed with the idea, but it just never really caught on. And the fact that an English team hasn't made the final, does that now mean we do not have the greatest league in the world? No, Anthony, we still do. We definitely still do. This is just a blip. In fact, it's the exception that proves the rule. Now the final is at Wembley Stadium, Ian, where you are right now. Will these foreign players take time to walk onto that hallowed turf in appreciation, thanking the British public for even allowing them to be there? Probably not. They'll probably just throw foreign sausages around and leave the place in utter chaos. Let's have a look at the teams. I uh, don't know why we're doing this. It'd be much easier if there was an English club so we knew who we wanted to win. Let's take the first one. Ian, you've actually played with the manager. Yes, I did. His and my family used to holiday at the same mobile home park in southern France when we were toddlers. And what was he like to play with? He won't share, Anthony, I'll say that much. You put him in a sandpit with some of those brightly coloured buckets and spades and throw in the odd dumper truck and add a plastic windmill. He won't share any of them. Not, not one of them. He's a horrible, horrible man. What about the other team? They're coming into this game as the Unterlegina, aren't they? Yes, they are. But... Das ist ihre genau Kragenweite. Ja, das ist gut. But what players might we as well look out for? Bayern Munich have an eclectic mix of players. I'm looking at the team sheet now. Uh, they range from your classical Greek figures like Dante, who was famously guided by the poet Virgil through the fiery pits of hell, uh, but he should be back in time for the game so that he can start, uh, right the way through to Tony Cruz, who I believe is a hairdresser from Essex. What about the other team? Aaron Robin's head is made entirely of glass. What about the other team? I've done my research, Anthony, and it seems that Ilke Gundogan is the engine room of the Dortmund team. Uh, I've been in plenty of engine rooms in my time. My grandfather was in the Merchant Navy. These are hot, sweaty, dangerous, dirty places. And for me, the analogy completely breaks down because it's nothing like Gundogan. It's pointless. Pointless thing to say. What will the managers say to their teams before the game, Ian? I think they'll probably say to them, Anthony, I think they'll say to them, how much do you want to win this game? Hmm? Hmm? Hey? Hmm? Hey, how much do you want to win this? And they'll spread their arms out and go, this much? And the players will be all like, mm, yeah. And then the manager will spread his arms even further and go, what about this much? And then the players will be like, yeah, that's much more how much we want to win. You weren't quite correct in the first one, but now you're doing your arms wider. That's much more like it. We want to win that much. And then they'll run out onto the pitch with newfound belief. Once I spread my arms out so wide, I said I wanted to win it that much, but plus infinity. Now, is that something the coaches might say as a motivational tactic, Ian? Plus infinity? No, I don't think so, Anthony. You can't have anything plus infinity because that's just infinity. I think that would confuse the players. Who do you think will win? Anthony, it's impossible to say. OK, well, thanks for that, Ian. Well, hold on, where are you going? Well, you said it's impossible to say. Yes, I know I said that, but I'm going to try and say... What, 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 why bother? Why say something that's impossible to say? Yeah, you're right, Anthony. I haven't thought this through at all. No, no, no. You wanted to say something that's impossible to say. Go on, then. Say it, Ian. Say it, Ian. Who do you want to win? Say it. Say it if it's impossible to say, but you can say it. Say it. Yep, you're right. I can't do it. I can't say. Back to you. You don't say back to you. I say back to you. 2-1, he says you. back to you. Don't say back to you!